This is the walkthrough video for PCTC 2021-2 round one senior mode, question 10, encryption. Okay, so we're given uh, the string and we essentially need to encrypt it by following the rules outlined here. And that just means removing all the spaces and swapping all the variables to, swapping all the vowels to something else. So our input is gonna be our message. So let's just input that. And I guess the first thing to do is remove the spaces. That's nice and easy. So in Python, we can use um, this replace command. So we're going to replace a space with nothing. And so to replace something with nothing, we can just have an empty string here. Okay, so we've removed the spaces. Now this is the difficult bit because we essentially want to change each vowel into a different vowel. But if you really think about it, then we're kind of going to have duplicate vowels somewhere because if you change an A to an E and then change the E's to an I's, well, we've already just changed a load of A's to an E. And so that effectively means we're changing an A, every A to an I, as well as every E to an I. So logic here is really difficult, but hopefully you can kind of figure out in your head that something doesn't really make sense here. Um, and so we can't just change an E, A to an E, and then an E to an I, and then an I to an O and so on, because that would result in random duplicates and things like that. Um, and that's because the way, the reason that happens is because we're changing five vowels into five different vowels, but all of the vowels that we're changing is also the result of a shift. So for example, we're changing an A, but also changing things into an A. We're changing an E, but also changing things into an E, and that causes issues. And um, you can try and copy this code and mess around with it and see for yourself um, why that's the case. So to come, ac to come across that solution, or sorry, to, uh, to solve that problem, we can use the placeholder. So if we take our message and let's say we replace every A with, let's create a placeholder. Let's say the placeholder is one. Because we're told the messages only have uppercase letters. Actually, in that case, we can just make the placeholder a lowercase a. Okay. And now we can follow these rules and you'll see why this makes sense soon. So message equal to itself dot replace and Let's change um, an E to an I. Uh, actually, that wouldn't work. We need to work backwards. So let's change a, let's see. Let's change the U's to the A's. Yes, that should work. Again, the, the logic code is actually quite complicated, <laughs> even I'm struggling with this. Let's change the U to an A. Um, and in Python, what you can actually do is you can chain things together. You can chain these commands. So we've done a replace here. We can just do another replace after it. Um, to change the U to an A, now let's change the O's into a U's. Now let's change the um, I's into the O's. Um, now let's change the E's into the I's. Um, like that. So again, it's quite a long line of code. Um, it would actually probably be easier if I just split this up. So let's do that here. Okay, so you've changed the U to an A, so that's this. You've changed the O to the U, we've done the I to the O, we've done the E to the I, and the final one is the A to the E. But remember, initially we changed all the A's to a lowercase a. So the lowercase a actually represents the things we want to change. So lowercase a should now turn into e. And you can kind of you can probably see the error here if we had an uppercase a. Because we changed all the uppercase u's to the uppercase a's. So if you change all the uppercase a's to uppercase e's, then we're effectively just changing these u's. But we actually want to change the, the, the original a's. And we've stored the original a's with the placeholder value of lowercase a. So again, it's quite difficult to wrap your head around. I really recommend if you don't understand it to copy this code across um, and print different things out and try different things, just experiment with it, play with it until you, you figure out why you need to do it this way. But it's, it's a relatively common theme. So I would suggest properly understanding how this works and it will really help you.